seven, one, two, five. Is that my beer? Yeah. My fucking beer. Cheers, fellas. Yeah. Cheers, salute, cheers, salute. cheers. What is this one? This is. This is. This is. This is only '90s kids. Me. We'll get this IPA. Double I IPA. like the art on the can. It's fucking tight. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Ninja Turtles, Capri Suns, Game Boy, Damn. Blockbuster. Skates, I don't know, man. Air Max. This is pretty fucking delicious. I what? Ooh. I did not think that whatsoever. I'm liking this. The aftertaste. Well, I don't it's because I'm a real '90s kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. I was thinking I about the. I was born. Yeah, well, I played with. <laughs> I was born in '89. Blockbuster. The beginning of '89. So I still think I'm a '90s kid because I. What do you, you are, really do we, in the first? I was kid? born three days in the '80s. Yeah, I was break dancing, did a little cocaine, put a disco ball in my fucking room. But in the there '90s, is, it's fucking weird. <laughs> it's when you grow up. Is yeah, that's 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 when my balls dropped in the '90s. But no, I mean, I think 90s, my balls dropped late though. No, but the '90s, like late like, '90s, I feel like that was the last Early era 2000s. of of kids, <laughs> like kids going out, fucking playing outside. Um, but it's so crazy to think what what like our era with the internet starting, AIM, Messenger, social media. It's um, pretty much the last of that era. Everything, like we were the last of the era to go outside and play and scrape our knees, and we're also the the beginning of the era of like the boom of internet. technology, yeah. the internet. I, bro, Dude, I, I fucking it, fell right out of a middle. lot of trees. It's so crazy. Yeah. It's so crazy. My son, we, my son, walked and ran like a regular kid. <laughs> After COVID, all like of a sudden a, he's fucking pigeon toed and can't fucking like, run like a regular. <laughs> it's crazy. Wait, you're, which one? The oldest one. He can't run. He runs. He all runs, weird. but now he's fucking pigeon toed. Somehow I was like, bro, you were, ne- you weren't. You were never pigeon toed. You don't just grow into being pigeon toed. <laughs> it's not something you grow into. What does pigeon toe mean? He walks like this now. His feet are in. Oh shit! Toes are inward. He's a straight he walking like, motherfucker. He looks back like in the Tommy day. Tommy from Rugrats. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much without a diaper. The fuck? It's crazy. These fucking video games. I worked on a campaign for the '90s. Probably because you keep punching him in the chest on man. Thursday. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and we were talking about like all the fucking Rookies. shit from the '90s. Oh no, it was actually for the 2000s. So it was like the iPods. In the year 2000. Remember, remember when, uh, like that <laughs> the iPad, the big one, everybody wanted the colored ones. Then you, it would always click. Like, yeah, yeah. Just, my like, screen broke on one of those, so I had to memorize the click. Oh, you told us that. Yeah. <laughs> and I would push it Looking to funny. shuffle all. So I used someone's real one, like, because they could see the screen. So I would go on mine and just see where it was. How many times I'd go over clicks until I got to shuffle all, and I would yeah. just shuffle all every time. Dude, mm. I, I would like I follow this this Instagram page. I guess everyone follows it. It's a blockbuster fucking Instagram page, uh, but it's a parody account. But they're like big time blocks, blockbuster fans. So they post nothing but like '90s and 2000s like commercials and uh, old toys and memorabilia. It's crazy, like, even the commercials back then were so much cooler. Because they actually used, like, animation. They did, like, clay animation on oh, shit. Yeah. And it was, it was fucking, they put a lot of effort in. Now it's, like, some fucking guy in a fucking polo shirt just been like, yeah, yeah. fucking do this. They would have or those, they get really weird. weird special effects in there, too. Like, yeah. with the, the lightning and shit. Yeah, the lightning, <laughs> they had Halloween ones where yeah. it was like, like, the pizza, uh, pizza Hut did, like, this weird one going, like, and then you hear, like, the bats and shit. Yeah. They're going into a house, and it's, like, it, you hear the scary noise and it's like delivery I'm just delivering pizza yeah like they went all out back then now it's fucking whack if I if I were to like I think grow like a company I think I would try to go back and stick to that style just for fun be dope hmm. like into the seasons like the holidays and stuff like the commercials I mean just the commercials in general how they were shot back then oh like, yeah like that should like that That's whole true. Oh, even the Capri Suns commercials. Yeah, were they were tight. Even like the, remember the old Budweiser one, with the toads. Oh yeah. Uh, was. Oh yeah. That <laughs> shit was tight. Even the Budweiser, the big ass horses. Oh yeah. The Budweiser horses. They always put a shit ton into their advertising. Yeah. Yeah. Corona just does the same old Christmas one. Yeah. Palm tree. <laughs> the lights yes. come on. Yeah, but that shit works. That shit's a dope ass <laughs> commercial. But I mean, they were showing like the blockbuster ones, the Pizza Hut. 
I mean, there's a ton of them, but there's... Yeah, they don't do commercials like that anymore. It's yeah. always, like, old school ones come back on, like, the, especially, like, Coca-Cola. It bring back the bears. It's always the bears. Yeah, those are good, though. The Christmas ones, like, Christmas yeah. bears, that kind of puts you in the spirit. But, like, I think we went through this phase maybe 20... I want to say, like, 2015 era, where Old Spice did this really awkward commercial, and it hit, and it must have got so much views or must have did really well because yeah. now everyone's doing the fucking awkward commercial oh, yeah. to try to get our attention it's so played out now I feel like that shit just doesn't work anymore it's expected what the riding the horse what? no yeah but they did that but I'm saying like like that model of commercial was like fucking crazy back then but now everyone's trying to be like awkward in their commercials yeah. and it's kind of like it's too obvious yeah I can't think of any like commercial now that kind of like what? Like it's funny or like cool? I know their game already. I ain't fucking getting caught up in all that shit. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Trying to get us to buy shit. No, when I want to buy something, I'm gonna buy it. When did like what the, the chips mascots said? become evil? The chips what mascots the chips? like fucking um. Oh, Doritos. Yeah, like the tiger. Um, is he cereal, tiger? bro. No, Cheetos. Um, the Cheetos. He, oh, no, he started that, he started becoming evil and doing that, like that was just, a recent thing because hot cheetos a hot cheetos guy yeah. was like this slick like motherfucker he was like kind of like a a slick cat cheeto or something the like tiger that. and uh the i think so glasses? yeah yeah where he was kind of like a slick guy and then bef- and then they went on to this friendly hot cheeto stuff so this folk came back to just be like like mean like i'm back motherfucker yeah and they, 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 yeah but I mean, we've talked about it, but the guy that invented Hot Cheetos, he used to actually be a custodian and fucking mm-hmm. at the Cheetos warehouse in Ontario. And he actually came from up north working in the in the in the fields. Mexican dude and, and he just said, Hey, why not fucking add some spice to Cheetos? And then from there they gave him a chance and now he's like fucking way up in the company. <laughs> made the company mad money. And what he did is cause they gave him a chance, came up with this formula. And then they said, all right, let's try it out in these markets. City of East L.A. Had every fucking cousin and uh, you name it, have, go into every store and buy it. And, yeah, and they ended up liking it. Really cool story. I was even flaming hot fucking sunflower seeds and shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, is yeah. it? Flaming hot fucking popcorn, flaming hot everything. Everything. Did you guys ever get into the, the Pepsi stuff? Pepsi stuff. Do you remember that? They had a whole marketing thing where you could... You would like take the labels off of the the um, bottles and cans and shit, or you would cut out the the barcodes and things, and you could mail it in for Pepsi stuff. Oh no, no, but that's cool. Yeah. I, know I remember Monster the Monster, did that. Monster, yeah, did Monster. That with the the bottle caps, or even the little cereal, the cereals and like the chips, so you yeah. turn them into the school. They give you like points. Or so I ended like I ended up having like some dope ass fucking Pepsi uh, like board shorts. No oh, shit. Oh what? Yeah. I would have like, killed for those. Yeah, they're like that's the dope. shiny. They're shiny blue. Oh shit. And I had, um, I, yeah, I saved enough for the board shorts, and I got uh, like a bag full of balls, like a little, like a small football. First you did, <laughs> like a bag full of balls. Yay. <laughs> a bag full of balls. <laughs> Fucking yay. A bag of balls. <laughs> Pepsi sucks. Hey, whatever. Coca Cola guy. Those, those shorts Coca-Cola. were fucking dope as fuck. I like Coca Cola better. Yeah. Especially the Mexican Coca Colas in the little it's glass fucking, bottle. Yeah, okay. It's fire. Sugar. Fuck. But damn, you drink that much soda? Hmm? As a kid? Yeah. yeah. Well, it wasn't just me. It was just my dad would collect cans and shit. Everyone so in the just, house. Yeah. You guys remember Surge? I the, don't. The yeah, soda? Yeah. The green soda? Surge? The green soda. Oh, it was supposed to be like Mountain Dew? A yeah. Mountain Dew? Yeah. yeah. The commercial was just that, Yeah, yeah. Surge. That's it was. Fucking, uh, Dude. I, I still remember getting Surge for the first time, which is funny. Because those commercials would hit us, and I'm like, oh, I want to try, I want to try. It's like, cool. And then I fucking remember, hey, tr- I remember trying it. Yeah, kind of around that time. But I remember Step trying it. Slim Jim. That's Slim Jim. Mm-hmm. That's totally. I know, but it's that sign no, came no, at the same time. Way earlier than that. Slim Jim's way earlier than that. So with my I know story, Surge is biting off of it. going to Kmart <laughs> right there in front of um, on Van Buren. There's vending machines they used to sell sodas, like right before you go in, which is crazy. There's no more vending machines outside of grocery stores anymore that I've seen besides Redbox. So I remember fucking getting, getting a surge. Or water things. Are there water things still? I haven't seen them for a while. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like to fill up your water? Yeah. Fill up those blue water. No, no. Then I stated where this had that shit. I have it? 
I have no idea. Those yeah. gla the glacier machines? Yeah, yeah, you'd go and fill up your water. Yeah, I got to surge one of those. <laughs> it was the funny how the, the surges so weren't even that good. They were way too sweet. But the, the vending machines, they had the cheap sodas and they had the Costco did that co for a long Coca Cola time. Pepsi's. But on this side, you had the what are those ones? RC Colas? RC Colas. They were yeah. fire. They bro. were fire, but I'm just saying. Co it's I mean, funny for, how they separated them. Like for the Cola longest, fire, Costco bro. had 50 cent soda for like for RC and all that shit. I think we Mr. Piv, RC, and there was another one. We talk, Supreme Pizza, Costco, they got rid of it. We talked about that already, right? Green pizza? No, yeah, did they? Costco. Yeah, you can't get that anymore. You did say it, but I think I was there. I was there the other day. So. I got a chicken bake. So fucking fire. That's Supreme Pizza. Yeah, but I'm talking about it. <laughs> See how it feels? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking come up with your nonsense. Uh, I need to go to Costco. I, I'm going to wait till I find out what I'm allergic to. What if it says beer? What if it says I'm allergic to beer? What if it says well, you're allergic to mine? Beer? I don't think that's going to happen. You would have been fucking swolled yeah. up already. Shit, you would have been had a bit some uh, hitched up. Remember on Hitch where he gets all where he has to take the Benadryl. Oh yeah. But I mean, there's different reactions to it. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't. Really what if you're What if you're allergic to just being dumb, and that's why your head's so big? My head's not big, bro. Like, your forehead. I have to wear big. snapbacks because my head's not big enough. What? Yeah, like the my. Head size is between two sizes in a fitted, so I have to wear a snapback because my head's okay, not big head, enough. Okay, your head, but your forehead. You said head. Fuck. I said forehead. <laughs> fuck. Ta run it back. Run it back. Boom, 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 boom. Forehead. <laughs> my forehead is considered my head. It's not that big. This whole thing's a head. Yeah, but you don't think your forehead's big though? I mean, let's be real. It's because you guys are a different type of Mexicans with small foreheads. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> Melissa and my kids have small foreheads. The with the so, lineups so, like this. So, so you don't think you have a big forehead? I think it's a, it's an actual forehead. <laughs> Come on, let's see it. <laughs> <Show us. laughs> he's gonna spread them. Yeah, he's gonna spread them. No, I lost weight, so my fingers got a little smaller. <laughs> oh my God. What? You lost weight in your fingers? Yes, they shrunk a little bit. Swollen? Look at this ring; doesn't even fit no more. Really. <laughs> so so well, you're struggling to take it off. <laughs> Damn. This fucking guy, dude. Fucking guy. It's five dollars. What is this? What do we? What, did we even talk about the only nineties kids? The only yeah, nineties kids. We start talking about the nineties, but yeah. how much was it? Was it eight percent? Yeah, two. Go to the Instagram page. The block double one. IPA. Let's check it out real quick. Citra, it's, a, it's a double. Yeah, Citra and Apollo hopped American double IPA. It was smooth. I liked it. I didn't really like it. Why? It was alright. Why didn't you like I it? I like the after. There's a weird aftertaste to it. That's the official one. No. That's the one below it. Uh, I don't know. I like this one. I like the '90s kid beer. Do you guys like it? I liked it. It's good. It's good. I fuck with it. <laughs> what is this right here? So what what did you hand me before this? Huh? The beers of all beers. Oh yeah. What what beer are we trying right now? Beer zombies. So this is a beer zombie. Uh, replay hazy. Please try again. Um, Ten point five. Yeah, they kill 10. it. Ten point five. The, they kill it with the can Dude, art. Beer Zombie is like on top of their shit. <laughs> yeah, they, they collab are. with so many people. They were right here in uh, uh, Santa Ana on Thursday. Oh, I told your brother if you want to go, but he didn't. You're a liar. You said I was off. You never hit me up. That no, day. I said let me know if you want to go. <laughs> I told oh, yeah. I posted it on fucking Instagram and then I forgot about it. <laughs> and then on Thursday, I was well, like, that's where Fuck. I seen it. But they'll they'll be a out here pretty soon but um let's, try, is can art. let's try this shit out real quick the so can art fire. is fucking dope let me... <sighs> oh yeah yeah that's tasty that's fucking bomb mm. fucking beer zombies man <laughs> so thick too so good and tasty mm. you know that? this is one of those beers that you can uh freeze make a little a little slushy. Dude, out of it. A little slushy this shit out of it, is yeah. bump. I want this as a shirt. They yeah, that dope art. Like when I was there the last time, that's some pretty cool stuff. I just I don't know why I didn't buy their merch. They guys showing me it, and I was like, that's cool, it's cool. But I just I don't know. I was just like, oh, let me just get a Growler. I mean, we could go to their uh, pretty soon. Maybe tap into that 420 festival. So beer zombies and beer news. 
Look it up and spot out here. Beer Zombie is having a beer festival on 420. First one what? this year that is that I know of of a beer festival. So it's gonna be Beer Zombies, 450 North Brewing, Raw Brewing, which is from Maine, and they're the ones that been blo- that blew up last year with their slushy beer. They're coming out here to do a fucking festival with Beer Zombies. Bob Bob uh, Brew House, never heard of them, and the other one I have never heard of. Them. We have to attend this. Where is it? With our merch. Where's it located? We gotta stay ready to be In, ready. Uh, Las Vegas. We need to bring Nevada. out the drinkers. Oh, we need to bring out Tim. We gotta bring out Ozzy. Yeah. It's on a Tuesday. <laughs> he might actually be out there during that time. But I mean, I, I think this is gonna be a fucking dope ass beer Hell festival. Yeah. First of all, beer zombies on top of their fucking game. Yeah, they are. Four fifty North Brewery. Like I know they're they're really good too, and they're I've seen them a lot on Instagram. And Raw Brewing fucking came up out of nowhere last year with their whole fucking. Uh, uh, Slurpy uh, beers and all that. Really? The, the blue, Slushy. what's that she called? The, the blue, um, Raz. The blue something. It was like a Star Wars themed beer. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, the blue milk. The blue milk, yeah. So that shit fucking blew up last year. And then that's. And the other two ones, I honestly don't know who they are. But those top three right there, and just having Raw coming down to the West Coast is pretty big. Because they're from Maine. So 100 people per session. So you got to be on that shit. Yep. Or one tickets go on sale. Does it say how much the tickets are? Nowhere, huh? Doesn't matter. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, just based on. Plus, it's not just them, it's 25 breweries. 25 breweries are going to be there. So those are the top. But it says 100 people per session. So there's two sessions 12 yeah, to 3 just... and 5 to 8. So they just got to be on top of it. Okay. Oh, we tried with that with the younger, and we didn't That's get shit. That's different. That's different. We're talking about the Holy Grail. That's uh-huh. different. They have bots for all this shit, probably too. Let's let's be positive. You don't know. Yeah. You're a fucking hacker. You can't fucking figure some shit out. No, no, I can't. Should be. <laughs> well, we just have it. <laughs> <laughs> all proud. You, you yeah, should. Yeah, I mean, you should be fucking. You know. Anyways, beer zombies, top of their shit. This fucking beer is fire as fuck. And it's crazy. Um, Eminem Liquor sells out quick. That Draugr, what it was a Draugr, right? That oh, one was delicious. That I, he's like, oh, we can't even get that. Like, that's not coming back. And that's that one crazy was about fucking too, fire. They they Wait. come out with their fire and they're like, oh, we're done with that. And this is bringing out something else, and it's even better than the other one. We yeah. should just plan a little quick Vegas trip. I'm down. Let's go to Abel Baker. Let's go to fucking uh, Beer Zombies. We'll go to fucking what other breweries out there uh, that we know of. Desert something. <laughs> just, just desert something. I uh, the name but I know those are the two main ones that I know of, at least. I know Beer Zombies is big. Abel Baker's coming up. Do a one-nighter? Yeah. We're not driving there and driving back. Oh, we could fly there. It's only like fucking... Yeah, ninety bucks. That'd be so funny. I can't imagine all of us <laughs> in a plane. That? What <laughs> was that? First I can't all. imagine all of us on a plane. That'd be hilarious. Are you scared? You know, let's just skip uh-huh. a podcast and we'll just fucking vlog the thing, and then we'll just do that. We'll vlog the that. And that'll be what we, we put out. That shit. And then, if anything, we'll fucking for audio purposes, we'll just fucking put out a quick little podcast that we record on. Order. Yeah, I mean, there's a fucking airport down the street. I'm sure we could. Yeah, John Wayne or I have Monday and Tuesday off this week. So let's, if we're doing it, let's do it now. What the fuck? <laughs> <That's kidding. laughs> I mean, no, I know, any Tuesday weekend, every any weekend will be perfect. Actually, th- these couple upcoming weekends, I'm going to be off. Like, I'm not. I don't have to go in. So, and my brother's heading to Vegas at some. Oh, point. he is for the coaching shit. Mm-hmm. We stay at Circa. For a night at fucking in downtown where he's at, it's like the new like fucking coaching for what football shit for football. Yeah, for flag I think too. He's yeah. a real coach. <laughs> <laughs> he's not even coach. To the team. <laughs> <laughs> he's like fuck. Oh, okay. Okay. No, that'll be fun. Football. I mean, I think I think that'll be fun. That we do San Diego, but we gotta do shit like that. 
Even though we've been to all these places, it would be kind of cool to do it together. Will Melissa let you go out for a night? I'm with us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. <laughs> 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 Okay, let's do it. That'd be fun. Does that mean, like, I mean, flights to Vegas are cheap. They're like 100 bucks. Round trip. Instead of driving there, we're going to drive there. We're going to spend the same amount. Well, whoever's driving is. That's fucking three and a half hours less of our time. Yeah, um, yeah. If I, we fly there and I take her with us, she can't say shit to me. Take you everywhere, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, the only reason you're taking her. I it's can't wait up. to see you fucking this guy on a plane. <laughs> She's gonna fuck you up one day. Yeah. I can't wait to see I've been on a plane before. I've been on multiple planes. <laughs> yeah, but with us? No. <laughs> I've been on a plane with you. With us, I said? No. We're gonna be messing with you like, Marn, relax. I have my dude, headphones relax. in. Relax. <laughs> yeah, so, remember that shit? Where did we go? Oh, yeah, Chicago. I actually want to buy some Air Max 97s. Yeah, I just don't they, like how they look on my feet. But you don't want to buy these. Why? First of all, little Nas X is coming out with a brand new 97 Air Max collab. I forgot with who, but it's called Nike. The Satan Shoes. No, it's not Nike. <laughs> it's Idiot. a Nike, though. <laughs> it's a Nike shoe, but it's a collab with someone else. I can so, collab on. Go ahead. Well, he's doing it. <laughs> Click on the fucking thing. Do your job. <laughs> this is right there, you dumbass. All of it. Go down. Anyways, so it's gonna be a, a Satan fucking Damn, theme. This Luke ten eighteen, which you I know don't what? know what Those, the fuck it is. I don't care for the Satan in the front, but everything else is kind of hard. Yeah, I like him. And you know what he's trying to say? So you see that bubble? Supposedly that's gonna be filled with real human blood. <laughs> that liquid. But I like the shoe. I don't care about the Satan shit in the front. I'll just cut that shit off. When did he become a Satanist? I don't know. I have no idea. He probably just fell off and he's trying to come back. Because that actually that colorway looks a lot cleaner than I'm, I've never been a fan of like that rainbow colorway. You know that's really popular. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't, I, it's just the too loud. It's thing. too loud. Yeah. I mean, I see why people like them though. But these are pretty clean. It's just that little symbol in the front looks kind of weird. I, I was gonna go get some, some the slides blood. today. Not slides. But some Spot down the street has some pretty dope shit, Martin. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these. What is Luke 1018? No idea. Look it up. You got Google, son. It's probably some devil shit because that says 666. said more than it was more than six. So he told me. Well, them. Where does it say it? It's probably like a too something from too, the Bible. Too many Bible versions. Versions. Are there? Uh, I thought there was like devil Bible version. He replied, "I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven." Oh. See, new international version. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, it tastes know. like a weird spice. Yep. Yeah, at the end, I taste a nasty bitterness at the end. Yeah. It hurts oh, my it throat. Oh, yeah, like it started like tingling my throat yeah. right now. I was like, what I'm is that? Some yeah. whiskey. I'm not tasting any of that. Oh, dude, look at that. Damn, yeah, yeah, that looks like you just got. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Milk? That's mama booby that looks like milk. Coffee. That's mama booby yeah, milk. That looks like breast milk. <laughs> I've, I've only seen it frozen. Oh, but fuck. <laughs> have a good time with that, baby. What'd you mix? That's out of the can. That's the leftovers. It's, it's so like thick. That. It's so heavy. I don't know. Whatever it's fucking made with. Oh, we should. You guys should have drank the fucking shit. We got to go. That ain't gonna last. I was gonna have to take that home. Eric. Yes. See, he has six We're slash like six six six. A car, a car, a beer cup in the car and shit. Get fucking pulled over. See, six slash six six six. I don't know what that, that means. Was The shoes oh, are nice. I think this so. shoe will reportedly contain 66 cc's of red ink and one drop of human blood in its soul. That's bold. Says who? And they can Says buy that? a pint of blood and it just like drops. drops. Oh, in collaboration with MSCHF clothing. Dude, brand. Dumbass. Oh, Nike. 
I mean, it is with Nike, but it's a collab with other brands. Nope. <laughs> it has to be Nike. Because yeah. Nike will shut that shit down real quick. Yeah. Well, they're not. Look at it. What's happening. What's MS? That's like... That name for a clothing round? M-S-C-H-F. Mischief? Yeah, probably so. mischief. They just couldn't trademark the name because it's. He looks like a dumbass too. The price what? tag a thousand eighteen dollars. Yeah, fuck all that. <laughs> that was that was done for a thousand, but the eighteen is just crossing too much. the line. Too yeah, much. Crossing way the line. too much. We gotta pay tax on that. <laughs> oh, uh, Nike did not release or design these shoes. Dumbass. That's an <laughs> Air Max. Yeah. So I, I don't understand. Oh, do so that. the Air Max 97 shoes are bought independently and customized by its artists. Oh, I mean, they're going to have to say something for sure, no? Especially if you're making all that money. They're yeah. like, hell no, you better cut me off some of that. I mean, how many do they make? But I, I don't know. How, how does that work? Because everyone's buying forces and then customizing them and then selling them. Yeah. You know what I mean? I guess once it's your property, it's different. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's because exciting. then some people customize using certain materials that are, you know what I mean? And they get sued and shit like that. I think that, I know so. what you mean. So how does that shit work? <laughs> I don't understand. No one knows. <laughs> <what you mean. laughs> That's a thick-ass fucking beer. This should make my fucking I'm just tripping like out. Crazy. It looks like milk, though. Why? That must that's be the end of it. Beer. That's the residue. Is, my throat is fucking yeah, it hurts. Dude, it's crazy normal. right now. Really? <laughs> Look how his beer looks compared. Oh, yours is gone now. It's going to my ears. What? <laughs> like, cause your ears are connected to your throat, connected to your knee bone. What was that song? I don't know. It doesn't. Go my like neck's that, connected to my butthole. <laughs> Tailbone. <laughs> it, my I mean, it is though. Like you're, you are just like one tube. Like. You're right. <laughs> you are correct there, sir. You are a meat tube. Oh, shit. Speaking about that. <laughs> you are a meat tube. Talking about buttholes. No, uh, everything connected. I went to uh, uh, the hood massage lady I talked about in the past. Bro, I am still bruised up to the max right now. She, like, I've gone in the past and it's hurt. It's hurt more. But this is the worst of the part when I was squirming. I was fucking grabbing her hand like, yo, chill. So would you would you say like she fucked you up or like she did a good job? No, because you can tell right away that she did a good job. Like she fixes you because as she's going through my ribs, like it's hurting so fucking bad. Just on one side, the other side's fine. But one side, like it was all of it was all my left side that was fucked up. Yeah. Um, so anything she did like touch on my neck, my face, fucking my ribs, anything, it just hurt so much. But it, yeah. on the right side it was fine. So she was going through it and it hurt so much, but she's able to trick you. Like she's like, all right, all right, I'm first massage some other shit, and then she goes back and just tricks you and does it. Is yeah. she doing all this over your clothes? No, oh, I had my shit off. Well, no, you get and naked, then, Shorty. He was butt ass naked. And then you no, can't get a good ass massage fully clothed, bro. You gotta give no, me your chone chone. There's just something. my shirt off. Oh, okay, shorts you're supposed to have shirt. I'm going with chonies. But um, <laughs> but um, you but yeah, she goes through you it in the banana hammock. And it, and it hurts, but you can feel the. I've asked for that. You can feel the. You can feel the knots, and then, um, then after she goes over it again, it's, like it, it's gone now. Like pain's not there anymore. She's just going over, and you're like, oh, okay, so she fixed it. Go, bro. And she goes all the way to your calves, to your toes, to everything. But the shit that hurt so much is the face, and then she goes over your stomach. Like you'll never think that your stomach will hurt, but yeah, oh, she yeah. does all that. So she just tells you, she's like, do you ever get cramps with my calves? She's like, yeah, that's part of it. And like she'll she'll just tell you like fucking. Um, just everything what's going on and then she cracks your neck that whole thing and uh and then you walk out of there feeling all loose and good but dude you should have asked him yesterday i could not fucking get in a good position i was fucking bitching because i was bruised up like straight up bruised up i'm starting to feel a little bit better today but, but yeah. yeah so you feel fucking fucked for like a couple of days yes. your body's adjusting to it but yeah i want to go back she told me i need to go back to like fully do everything she booked up or what on their next opening you just gotta hit her up she is. She does. I have to hit you up. up to hit her up, right? Yeah. That's what you said. What well, schedule is saying, fool? Fuck. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you guys her, both want to go? You're her yeah. secretary. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. <laughs> when you go in, she she has this like legit bed that you lay on first. Uh, fuck for like thirty minutes, but it like go like it's 
fucking it goes through your back like it's not some bullshit little yeah. massage thing that just vibrates it goes through your back it does that for a while and then it heats up oh it rolls it's one yeah, of those rolling yeah, it rolls things. Yeah. and then it heats up and it rolls and then she tells you to turn around do your stomach and then uh and then you get up and then um take your shit off and you lay down she puts um a lotion or whatever and she fucking just starts in the basket. going at it. Yeah. She's she butch. puts the lotion in the basket. <laughs> She's butch, dude. Like it puts the lotion like, on the skin. It's crazy how strong she is. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, when I was um, when my mom was still working at that chiropractor, mm -hmm. I would get on those beds like after school because yeah. she she'd pick me up and then go back to work. I'd just get on the bed. She's like, "Yeah, just go in the back room and just get on that bed." She'd just turn it on for like an hour, and I would feel that just fucking like that rolling bed just going through my back. This was crazy because it goes all the way through yeah. your body. And then it'll stay it starts. Stiff, it starts at your neck and, and it like, just goes the all fuck? the fucking way down. And then it just goes. Yeah. yeah. You just feel your whole body just like lift up. Like. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's dope. But man, like I'm telling you. Like. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not for the, the lesser man. Mm. Faint of heart. <laughs> It fucking hurts. I can do it. Though. I just won't eat before I go. Well, Tony see. tried. He hasn't gone back since because he's fucking scared. <laughs> well, since since we're shouting out people with uh, home services, my sister has been uh, on fibroblasting. What's fibroblasting? It's a skin tightening thing where it's like a tiny electroshock. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. Oh, so it's not the PRP where they fucking take the blood out of you and they mix it and then put it back in you? No, no, it's not that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Every fucking girl does it. Yeah. But yeah. No, this is it's like a little thing that gives you like little electroshocks that tightens up your skin. So it, it like almost scars you, but it doesn't because it's so tiny. Yeah, yeah. I know. Um so she's doing that, she's doing teeth whitening, she's doing all sorts of other the fucking I wanna shit. do the teeth whitening thing. I yeah. wanna be like fucking super bright. The skin yeah. tag thing too, I saw this. I don't that. I don't know what I'm gonna do at your sister's place for an hour just laying there with that blue light. Just fucking watch TV. Fuck. Just ask her to put on a movie for you. <laughs> I know. I want to go for you take this skin tiger I have right here. Yeah. You can do it. That shit absurd, though. I'm scared of that. Like, mm -hmm. if I have a skin tag ever, I'm fucking taking that shit off. Hell yeah. I usually just rip them on myself, but. I'll take that oh. shit off on myself, too. You, yeah. ha you had them before? No, I would, though. I get. I usually Can't get, you just tie some around? And just... Yeah, I usually get a couple on my armpit. They I'll go just, under your I'll, armpit? I'll grab them and I'll just fucking I'll rip them off. Thing. I don't want to do that on my neck, though. The big ass car. Oh, she has a little zapper. And no, I know, yeah. but he's talking about pulling them off. No, but he's talk You're talking about like right when you see them. Hmm? Yeah, I get. I, I get little ones and I yeah. just fucking oh. rip them off. I've done that before until it before it gets to. You have chicken. Where it's you, been have, there. you have chicken nuggets on your neck. Like mm -hmm. Little dangly ones. A little one right here. Yeah. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> Do it. The fuck. Do it. It must hurt though. Do it <laughs> and save it. Oh, save that shit. It. That shit does suck. In a little vial. Cause I I did it without the numbing cream. I was like, just fucking do it already. Like, just go for it. Yeah. And she's like halfway through. She's like, you took like a skin. She I had one skin tag over here, and then she was doing um, my uh, stretch marks. She's like, just let me practice on this one. And I was like, all right, go stretch go for it. What are you? What she's doing? She's hmm? stretch marks. Yeah. You could you could erase them. <laughs> kind of just to like tighten them up so they get smaller. What but, the fuck? Uh, Did she remove tattoos too, or what? Yeah. Fuck oh yeah, yeah, she started doing it with Ozzy with this fucking tribal band. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, <laughs> the so tribal band he got in fucking high school and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Martin? He's like, yeah, it works. I don't have tribal band. Yeah, no, we get tattoos. 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 <laughs> I'm leaving. That's a story. At <laughs> <laughs> the Budweiser yeah. side, I was. <laughs> and has Bush. <laughs> that was yeah. hilarious when he showed us that. <laughs> but yeah, that shit, it does suck. Like, without the numbing cream, like it's. You have to get the numbing cream and you sit there for, for like half an hour and let it like soak in and do its thing. Mm. I was just sitting, I was like, just fucking do it already. Like, just go. And yeah, it, it sucks. Does it feel like a it tattoo? It looks fucking painful. No. Dude, I'm kind of excited to get fucking. It's different. And it's, yeah. To get Andy's stepdad in here. That's a fucking, that's a seasoned beer veteran. Oh, yeah. He's fucking been everywhere. Yeah. And he Martin tells... met him for the first time last week. Oh, at the. And he at, hugged yeah. Me. Where was that? Yeah, he hugs. This is the best hug you've ever had, huh? <laughs> and Martin's like, <laughs> Martin's like, this is what it feels like. <laughs> is this, is this what love is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like to be an happy family. <laughs> 
Yes, well, that's love. <laughs> <laughs> He's for the fucking. He literally grew up in the summer of love, dude. So he <laughs> yeah. knows love. Yeah, <laughs> was a straight hippie. But uh, he makes it sound like he worked for the CIA or some shit. Probably dude. Yeah, he's so vague about what he did. He's like, oh yeah, or he's I don't figure out what he said, but I was like, <laughs> well, what does that mean? <laughs> Vagueness. Yeah. I don't remember. But uh, I drank a triple IPA, right? Yeah, now. we need to we need to get him on the pod for sure. Okay, Maureen. Pretty excited because he tells stories good too. I feel like he'll be a natural at this. Oh yeah. He's gonna want us to set up his own like. He should. Yeah. he should because he has those stories and those stories are just going to go away with him and that's not fair yeah and he's a good story- storyteller also the, just the fact that he lived during those times and he's able to like, say I experienced that and yeah pretty cool I'll try to convince him to start his own podcast be a hobby for him to do yeah but um, you know, yeah definitely we gotta get him on I think do that or go to Vegas next week down for Vegas next week. What the fuck, Martin? You were all down a second ago. Uh, now next week, that's already next week, and Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> you are a fucking genius. What? <laughs> Sundays <laughs> Easter. What does it even mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what it means, obviously. <laughs> fuck! Oh I'm so happy. It's already next week. <laughs> what the fuck! You are a genius. A genius. Well, yeah, I guess since it's Easter. It's, it's super sure. quick notice. Uh, what about in two weeks? We're gonna or tickets next week. Because if we buy a week in advance, it's only like ninety bucks. I'm sorry, I'm not. It. I'm not religious. I don't. But I had eggs from Jesus. No, but I guess we can get. We can try to get homeboy. Try to get his uh, stepdad. Randy. Who? Yeah. What's his name again? <laughs> Brian. Oh, Brian. Brian. There you go, Brian. I was like, Randy. Randy. I was like, I was like who's stepdad? He looks like a Randy. He looks kind of right like, 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 like a Randy. No, I think we can Randy. talk about it. So, uh, <laughs> did you guys know that for the last 44 years, 44. Andre the Giant has successfully held the record for the most beer uh, consumed in a single sitting oh, during yeah. a six hour uh, period back in 1976? Andre the Giant drank 119 beers, 119 oh, standard. He- 12 ounce brews in a Pennsylvania pub, and no one has beat that record since. So then. he's actually like sat there. No, but drank. they actually like recorded it. No, that's where I don't know about recording shit. it. This no, is I'm a saying Ripley's like, Believe It or Not type shit. No, but like, like, okay, there was someone there like counting it, or was it like an urban legend? I don't know. Sure. It's just, but no, but he's known for that. Like, it's just yeah. like, he's, 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 he's known for being a fucking raging alcoholic. Yeah, yeah like, 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 like uh, raging what's his, alcoholic. What's his name? Uh, Rick Flair was known for fucking drinking anyone under the bar. Like, he was yeah. crazy. And he said, no, this motherfucker, like, he'll tap out with Andre the Giant. He used to do barrels yeah. of wine. And then what's his name? Um, That's uh, Jake the crazy. Snake, raging alcoholic as well. And then he was in, um, he got in a van with him because. Andre John was so big they had to put him in the back of the van, be an empty van. He would just sit in the back with him and drink beer, and um, and then fucking he'll just drink cases and cases of beer. And the weirdest thing is he wouldn't piss. Like and then this had to stop all the time and piss. And he's like, yeah, fucking Andre the Giant just yeah. would take me out because there were little ass fucking beers in him. Like they were the size yeah. of like the two fingers, three fingers. Like, it's a sip for him. Like, yeah, they're like little fucking juice boxes. 119 beers though. I did that. Fucking say it, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did I do that? I was going to do that today. <laughs> you had two. You had two fucking beers. <laughs> yeah. But then again, what was he drinking? Was he drinking fucking paps? It doesn't but matter. But still, add up. Hundred and yeah. fucking nineteen beers. Something's gonna happen. Either gonna just He's gonna throw up just because of all that shit, or <laughs> yeah. What? Something say? will happen if you don't get drunk. You're either gonna get sick to your stomach. It has to. Well, I mean, he died pretty young too. So, what he die? At? What age? Uh, what's 41. young? Oh shit, that is young. Was it? I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded fucking but, good. Yeah, he died quicker than most people because he was so big. Yep. One hundred and nineteen beers is crazy. He would have to. They would have to like literally put a bucket. Put a curtain up for him to like take 
or take a piss in an airport in a plane because he couldn't fit in the fucking yeah. plane restroom. Yeah. Do you feel like that, Eric? When you you you've been in the restroom in a plane, do you it feel? Sucks. Do you it, feel a little bit too big for it? It, it really fucking sucks. <laughs> it really, oh, he died in 1993. It really fucking sucks. In Paris, France, <laughs> age of uh, 46. I told you, dumbass. Well, you're fucking <laughs> five years, but whatever. He weighed 520 pounds. Well, he died. At his 520 death. pounds. At his death. His height of his career, he is, he weighed six hundred and twenty pounds. How tall was he? Seven something. He was tall as shit, fool. A big fucking dude. Uh, seven, seven feet and four inches. Some would even oh, say he fuck. was a giant. I mean, that big. The fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> basketball player. There's basketball players like seven. Something. Yeah, but yeah, but Yao Ming, but that was a stick. This fool was huge. Yao. Yeah, yeah Yao Ming. He had gigantism, so he is, everything was huge. Yeah, fool. What the fuck? You don't know. Fool, I don't yeah, know. know. <laughs> Think about giants. I know you didn't watch the fight yesterday. Francis Uganu is a fucking monster. Beast. Beast. You guys, the, the, oh, you didn't watch it yesterday. I watched part of the fight yesterday, or fights, but it kept cutting out. Oh, you guys trying to stream it? I don't know what the fuck happened. And I just wasn't paying attention. Dana White's Dana White found your ass. That's why. <laughs> Uncle Dana's going to get you. Quick. You got to watch out. Uncle Dana's going to get you. I should have said that on like recorded videos. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> no. What's the best beer you've had in a while, Eric? In a while? Hmm. Rough. It is rough. Why aren't so jealous you could do that with your beard right now? Yeah, right? <laughs> I know. You know licking his lips <laughs> and looking at you and shit. Hmm. I think it has to be one of those modern times ones. But it could have been... The it ones could have been, we had last or a couple weeks ago? Yeah, it could have been the atmosphere too. Like just everything. It was a dope atmosphere, yeah. 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 I really liked this beer that we had today. It was zombie one was pretty good. The Draugr was oh, but the though. ending though. The Draugr was way better. I think the Draugr was probably the better beers I had in a while. The end surprise of this shit was kind of crazy. Yeah, that shit. It looks, finally went away. My next feels normal. Not gonna lie, You're not gonna finish rotten. that shit. Huh? I'm not gonna drink that shit. No, that You're shit not? does not look good. For that you. It looks right rotten. There? That it's right not there? rotten. It's just the the excess juiciness. <laughs> Fuck that! It's all the chemicals. You gonna trust Martin? That should be my. I'm not drinking that shit either. Like a motherfucker. I've already had that. <laughs> I've drank that. Okay, cool. Playing Warzone, <laughs> that shit fucking almost knocked me out. It's harsh. It's feel it. Yeah, it feels weird. I don't know what you're talking. This right here. This right here. No, <laughs> does the camera kick? Does the camera get that? It's the same thing. Oh yeah, you have it under there. Yeah, you still have it in there, son. Pour that shit out. <laughs> Stop yelling at him, dude. I know. Dude. Why dude, my nose? Like, Fucking Sergeant Slaughter over there. There you go. Chocolate milk. Mocha. Oh, that shit is weird. It's so white. What is that? Mocha milk. It looks like the resume of Ochata. Did you need to get the ending of Ochata? Looks milky Jeez. as fuck. Look how white that is. Yeah, yeah that's a lot, too. Look, guys. Does that look like a beer to you? It's not. I'm drinking it, Eric. I'm drinking it. <laughs> you know, you know what it started tasting like? Shit. That fucking uh, kava. Oh yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Damn, yeah, I haven't tried kava in a minute. <laughs> like fucking roots and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's Some real. It's real earthy. Kava. Real rooty. <laughs> I should store kava. Oh. Ooh. Not good. Yeah. No, it does really have that kava taste to it. Yeah, yeah your throat's a little itchy now. Yeah, Straight now roots. that I now that I had <laughs> yeah, that, dude. yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's straight fucking yeah. minerals, huh? <laughs> I don't know what that is, dude. But that shit fucked me up. My throat was like itchy, like a muffin. I had the same. Wild. I had the same taste too. Like, I mean, not as bad as what Eric just went through, but yeah. Uh, I mean, dude, there's residue in there. It's roots, son. Fucking 
Look at that glass is fucking white. Yeah. Yeah. It, just it looks like a white Russian. It looks kind of cool, actually. Yeah, That's I don't crazy. know. Thanks, Warren, for trying to poison us. Son of a bitch. That's what it tastes like, though. It tastes like kava. You guys don't know what kava is? A lot of Tungans and Samoans drink it. Part of the culture. It's called mud, son. Spin that shit in a bowl. It's called that root. Pour it into a. Pour it into a fucking half coconut. You drink it, you feel drunk, and you can make babies. (laughs) (laughs) I remember drinking it at Bob's uncle's house. Tungan family. He has it in this big ass fucking bowl, and they're just spinning it. Spinning it, and then they pour it. They have coconuts, and you drink it while sitting down on the floor drinking the shit. We're watching his highlights from college because he was a football player. Yeah. <laughs> we're just fucking <laughs> sipping all this shit. I'm thinking nothing of it. We're fucking young. We're like, yeah, what is this? And, um, dude, next thing you know, you start to feel drunk. The fucking circle starts to feel tighter. Everyone's laughing. We're looking at the college highlights like it's the best thing yeah, ever. He's like, he's like, and, you drink a lot of this shit and make it go like this. Yeah. You have babies says, for days. He, yeah, he says that you get hard off like, of what it. the fuck? And then, and then it says fucking, uh, it looks like mud when you're spinning it. Oh, yeah. Like, and then fucking your face gets numb. It's like fucking crazy. Like you get super numb. Yeah, it's crazy. It's and then, you, then he's like, the next, he's like, the next day you get stuck though. You can't get out of bed. He still got pulled over with a, like a pound of that shit. Man, I'm in handcuffs. I thought it was cocaine. And then uh, luckily the dude was a uh, Samoan, one of the cops. And he's like, nah, man, that's fucking like kava. Fucking kava. What are you doing with kava? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, all the Samoan homies always fuck around, but yeah, what's up with that cop and their eyes get all big? Like, how do you know about that shit? Yeah. Like, I have I shit? have some at home. Yeah, some legit stuff. Yeah. I haven't done that shit ever. We remember he gave us that that fucking bundle and we had that shit forever. We were making everybody try it. Yeah, James had it for years in his car. <laughs> and he <laughs> sold when he sold his uh, uh S ten. He pulled out the speaker and he found the Kaba sack. In there. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Funny. Huh? Yeah, what the fuck is in that? <clears throat> My fucking throat is itching. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. You fucking poisoned the crew? No. Dude, this Dude, shit is We're crazy. nice to you today. <clears throat> Shout out to Martin for fucking poisoning his <laughs> gut. That's yeah. years old, yeah. baby. We asked for fucking poison, but not real poison. We're talking about get drank. I don't know what's in there. Yeah, we're gonna have to look up what's in this fucking beer. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking it's nuts. tightening. Huh? No, I just got an allergy yeah. test, and then you can fucking do this. No, shit it feels like it's like closing. Like That's what mm-hmm. I'm saying. You can it feels allergic. crazy. If it's closing, you need Benadryl, which I have. <laughs> we're, all gonna, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're all gonna get <laughs> We're gonna fucking pass out in like the next thirty minutes. <laughs> for real. Fuck. Uh, well, we should have followed those tortas. <laughs> we should have. I wonder what they're doing right now. They're right? fucking torting it up. That's what they're doing. You need some tortas somewhere. They're in some consomme somewhere. <laughs> they were like, they were on a mission though. They were though. So we got there, like they were. I I heard like four or five phone calls. Like, what are you guys doing? This is my coworker. We're gonna go. Blah, blah. Like, damn, where you at? Where are you at? Yeah. They were on a mission. Sick one, fool. Martin would have showed up with that oh, forehead. All of a sudden, he gets on full scum wild. That shit's hilarious. <laughs> it's just funny as fuck. Damn. That could have been, been, been a blog. The fucking, these tortas licking Martin's forehead and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit won't go down. <laughs> That's like an orgy for him. They're just licking his forehead. <laughs> Different condiments and shit. <laughs> and just dip and fries. Because <laughs> he has two dead tra- <laughs> I don't know why, but I just thought about some like red and stippy shit. It's like, uh, yeah. la, 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 la. we're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. They use this fucking forehead as a line table. It's all doing lines on his forehead. <laughs> Yeah, but fucking beer, man. <laughs> That's the weirdest shit ever. That's never happened to me with the beer. Where, like, it just tastes fucking weird like that, man. 
<laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Grant's yeah. trying to be a tough guy. He's all drinking his whole shit right now. <laughs> yeah. After I told you, I was like, nah, dude. You shouldn't do that shit. We that talked about this. No, we talked about shit. this on the way over here. I don't listen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at how it's stained that cup. Crazy. Yeah, yeah it's like fucking. <laughs> That's it. Look, they, they, they just reminds me of Kava. It looks the, like the taste looks and like everything. The cheddar, kind of. Yeah. Crazy. Or right, look know. up Kava so you can see what. Yeah, look at. I don't even know how to spell that. <laughs> it's uh, try K A B A. K A. I know. Not cock. Not cock. No, don't go. The cow powder. Yeah. That might be it, the root. K A B A. Yeah, that might be the root. Put powder. That's why you have the worst Jamie. Oh my. Take the U out uh, of it. Gava. There it is. There it is. Some Gava. <coughs> Gava Gava root. Dying. Dying? What's wrong with you? you what are you allergic allergies, to? Allergies, bro. No, oh, hell no. I feel like you have COVID. Uh, you better not have COVID. Shit's been having Dang, me for like two days. You got us all sick. You no. Know, hopefully that fucking milk gets you better. Yeah, it fights it off. I know. Here, shit, drink just this. <laughs> drink the rest of that. Damn, you're tapping out? No, I have to go blow. Let's go on boogie run. <laughs> so Martin tapped out. Martin yeah, tapped yeah, out again, ladies and gentlemen. The use. The use. The usual. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, this is a great damn. podcast. Fucking audio warrant. Jesus. All right, let's end this shit. Yeah, I yeah. think it's... 7125media.com if you want to email us and just yell at Morin info at 7125media.com and I don't know what the fuck was in that beer we're gonna get to the bottom of that we're gonna we have do. to go to beer zombies and ask them like hey what the fuck hey it's 11 11 though make a wish <laughs> hey. wish Martin was so awkward <laughs> <laughs> we're out Peace.